Welcome to episode one of Ugly Food, where we're more focused on getting it made than what it looks like. I'll try and come up with a better tagline than that. I just know that this is called Ugly Food. This little pan, and I'm gonna cover it in some tin foil because I'm really lazy and I don't wanna have to clean the pan later. I don't know if shiny side up or dull side up matters. Um, we're not super educated here on um, tinfoil at Ugly Food, so um, shiny is pretty, so we're going to go with this side. Okay, I didn't even tell you what we're making today. Today we are making fish crackers, and you can leave right now if you don't like fish, because I love fish, and this is salmon skins. So you can cook a salmon and then be smart and not throw your skins away. I'm actually gonna put these skin side down, so in this case we are gonna go shiny side down instead of up. And this has already been seasoned because it's been cooked. Okay, I'm actually really impressed with her work. She managed to keep them mostly in big strips, uh, which is really nice. It really doesn't matter either way because I'll kind of break them up as I go to turn them into actual fish crackers. I have a little bit left over. I actually have another container over here, so, um, I'm probably going to cook it all up today and then just have it ready to go for the next couple of days. These sweet little ladies really enjoyed some of the bits that didn't fit on the pan. I'm totally guessing with temperatures here, um, so I have it on my bake setting. You can do this in a regular oven, that's fine. I'm going to put this at like 400 and see what happens. Remember, this is ugly food. If you can't already tell with the camera work, uh, we're just throwing it together because even a potato can taste good. I'm gonna guess here again too, we're gonna go like 25-ish minutes. And um, I'm here in the kitchen, I'm actually making a couple of other things today, so I'm just gonna keep an eye on this. It's already cooked, so it's fine to eat now. We're just trying to get some crispy out of it and uh, get the fat to kind of drip off of it a little bit. I'm gonna go work on a couple of other projects and um, we'll come back when it's nice and crunchy. Okay, it's only been about 10 minutes, I think, if that long. And what I'm looking for are the sides being a little bit curled up. There we go. Yeah, so sides are a little bit curled up, everything's sizzling, nice and crunchy. You can also kind of see oil in the corners. So yeah, that's looking really good. We're gonna let it cool down a little bit because I have burned my fingers before. Okay, this is now cool enough to touch. So um, yeah, nice and crispy. This one's maybe a little bit floppy. Parts of the skin's a little thicker. Or maybe still a little, I mean, they're not floppy anymore. They're pretty crisp. It's not super pretty. If you wanted to, you could try and cut it into little squares or circles. But I really like using these to dip in like a mayonnaise or some kind of dip. You can put vegetables on them. But um, yeah, just kind of treat it like a cracker. I've explored like the paleo diet before and the carnivore diet, and this is totally 100% zero carbohydrates, um, and you can use it however you want. Okay, final product, and I actually was not too lazy to go get a plate to put it on. So, random little shapes but that's okay. This one is like a little sauce thing I put on with some spices. Nice and crunchy. This is a little bit of leftover coleslaw from dinner the other night. Super beautiful. And um, I'm sure it looks really appetizing. Hey, don't throw your salmon skins away. Um, at the very least, bring them to my house. <laughs>